Hey, how you guys doing? It's Henry here at Mowers and Blowers. Today I am on a mother load three pick. Why I say mother load three? This is my new friend Anthony here. We're over here in Wontog, Long Island. So he just sold me. What is this? This is what I wanted for a while and I've never had one. I got a bug. This is a bug. It's a craftsman bug. Everybody makes one like a Cub Cadet, Yardman, they all make them. But this is a craftsman one that I just picked up. We also have a, um, is that a yard machines or a Troy? You got a Troy built. It looks like in great condition. Troy built, uh, self propelled, right? Yeah. Paid some pretty good money for it, but he just wants all this shit out of his yard, you know? Unfortunately, he also sold me an Eager One. You guys have seen from my past videos how I hate Eager Ones. They always give me problems, you know? And then we got a third one here. I think this is just a regular push mower. It looks like a Yard Machines or MTD or something like that, right? It is. Yeah, Yard Machines. Yard Machines 4.5. You got that regular carburetor that has that's attached to the uh, carburetor to the gas tank. You know, we've worked on a ton of those things. Give me a free speedometer from a 67, 68 Chrysler Sebring. I believe so, yeah. It has two miles on the odometer. How about that? That's the back cover to it. Anyway, so uh, this is the mother load three pick because, you know, uh, you guys know how I don't like to spend a lot of money, you know, and uh, Anthony was kind of tough on me. You know, I could usually talk uh, anybody into a good sale, but uh, he did, he did, he did charge me a good, a good amount. I'm, it's almost not retail, but you know, it's more money than I wanted to pay, but uh, holiday gift. <laughs> it's, it's more money than I wanted to pay, but nevertheless, uh, I gotta, I gotta get my inventory up since I've sold pretty much everything I have in the garage. And, so now I have another project. I don't know if I'm going to be working on it anytime soon because, you know, the weather here in Long Island is getting kind of chilly. And um, unless I heat my garage up, uh, I don't know how much work I'm going to be able to get done here. But uh, I, I'm anxious to work on this uh, Craftsman bug. It needs a starter. And so I'll definitely have to wait for that at least. But anyway, uh, Mother Low 3 pick. Stay tuned and uh, subscribe and like. And I'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. That's funny, man. You like that? I, I gotta give you that handshake. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah. Dude, you gotta watch my videos. So I'm back home with the uh, Mother Load 3 pick. I paid uh, $10 each for these push mowers. I hate that one there. Eager ones. Always giving me problems. But whatever, man. $10. So $30 for the three push mowers. Uh, I've already had these down. And uh, I cleaned the carb on this one in like five minutes. <laughs> it's like brand new, man. Starts right up. First pull. So that's ready to go. Nice Troy built. Haven't worked on this yet. I sprayed some stuff in there. It uh, started. So it's a carb clean. Need to get a filter, but I don't want to spend any money on it. So probably just sell it as is. But the gem of this mother load three pick is what I've always been curious about and always wanted is a Craftsman Bug. Excellent condition. Paint looks good. It's a metal body. Solid. Look at that round shape. Like a ladybug. Uh, gonna need front tires. They're bald. Holds air for a little bit. At least uh, the right one does. Bald. Back ones are okay. Um, so, Anthony said that it was a starter. Well, I, uh, he gave me the starter. I have it. Um, and I uh, hooked it up to some power, and it spins. So, I'm going to put it back in and see what happens. With this open, uh, the bug apparently has the, catch the grass catcher bags already inside. I'll uh, try to figure it out later, but that, that's it right there. That's the grass catcher bag. It's uh, all enclosed in one, you know. I wonder if it has a feature where you can not use it, you know, so it's just a mulcher, or does it always suck grass, you know, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, if it's just a starter, it shouldn't be too difficult to, um, you know, get this back running again. That's a motorcycle battery, he tells me. And, um, I'll probably get a new one. Um, they're not that expensive. 
So we'll see what happens there. Everything looks pretty much intact, and if it just needs to start or reinstalled, uh, then it's a good easy flip, you know. But I always wanted a, a bug, you know. I've had, I've had lots of them. You, you guys remember that one from Woodbury, with Mike. You guys remember this freebie? Got it for free. That's fantastic. This is my uh, regular daily mower. I had that for 15 years. I paid. Yeah, that's right. I paid retail price for that. Um, but that still runs after 15 years. You know, I never gave it an oil change until recently. So 15 years without an oil change. Just gave it one. Uh, you can say what you want about Murray's, but this one's treated me really well for 15 years. I think I paid brand new out of Home Depot, 550 There's my beast of a snowblower. Can't wait to use that. That's the mower deck, triple blade mower deck, 46 inch. That belongs to the Woodbury one. Um, you know, I from from before when I didn't have anything going on because I sold everything. Now I'm a little overwhelmed. I got like a little bit of uh, too much going on, you know. And it's winter, so it's going to be difficult to work on any of this stuff. But I'll keep you guys apprised. I just wanted to show you guys today's um, mother load pick three. I paid 80 bucks for everything. So the new Troy built, 10 bucks. That yard machine's 10 bucks. This piece of junk, Eager one, 10 bucks. But I know I'm gonna, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll sell that Troy built one there for like 150 or 135 or something like that. And that more than pays for all this, you know what I'm saying? And so that makes all these other uh, riding mowers absolutely free, you know. Anyway, see you guys later on Mowers and Blowers.